Welcome back guys to part 3 of my Walking Dead walkthrough. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this part and let's go into this office. Just that discreet... Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was going to say a joke there but it'll be terrible as always so I'll just leave it. This door leads to the back alley. Pants came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. There's a photo over there. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who own this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I'm not sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look. Don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Is there anything else? I'll get the first aid box first of all. Luckily there's nothing I need in here. But first aid kit. This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. I ought to clear a path to open in that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No. It's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. 
All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Eh. I wouldn't blame them. Why? Did you fight? I fight with my mom sometimes. We didn't fight, we just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone and I just <coughs> wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and then I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store, but let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Are you okay? Is it bleeding? A little. Find you a bandage. First aid cat. We need it now, Lee. We need it now. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Yay! Woo! Team Mark. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. But we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's the remote to my dad's TV. There's nothing I need in here. Um, that's something the pharmacy. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. I think that's as done. Nice to talk to Clementine. Is there anything to say? How's your fig? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. I was scared. Yeah. I was far away. That lady saved me. I'm glad she did. Maybe stay closer next time, so you're not so far away. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Ah, uh, I just botch one thing. I screw up one thing. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Oh, was he bad? He was. Right, um, what else do we need to do? We need to get Glenn at one point, uh, and we need to get the keys. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? 
I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Talk to you first of all. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh. It's a combination lock. <laughs> Use the TV remote. <laughs> Troll what they. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hear oh. that, huh? That's his brother. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of. He has a familiar face. Ah, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. And they start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. And the drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice, you know. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> kind of a dick. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? 
I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Can we get the brick and throw it? I can't reach that brick. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Um. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Uh. Open sesame. That won't work. <laughs> I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doug. Damn, can't take a joke. <laughs> Ah. Uh. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. What do we do then? Uh, those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Did you guys try to get in there? Ah, oh, god weapons? damn it. I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up, and they tried. <sighs> Sorry, and guys. What happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. I've got to knock that lock off of there. I imagine going out the back door and around is out of the question. If we're gonna help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. We break that lock off and I can get out onto the street. I can't reach that brick. I'm sure Doug could reach that brick. Come on. Right. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. We'll go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Try and see if we can get the combo. If not, we'll go and help Glenn. Mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. Kill the old. Even though we saw that last part, talk to Carly, it's what it's wanting me to do. Okay. I guess Glenn's next resort. No, not Lolly. Carly, where is she? Ah, freaking out. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. 
I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Hey, Carly. That troll smile. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Uh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Hopefully we find something that links to the code in some form. Then we can get the keys. Hopefully. Who would thought that who would think that there was so much to do in a drugstore? In a zombie apocalypse. things notice us not yet there's a survivor trapped up there no way we gotta go now listen i was out here looking for gas and then up there in the corner room i heard crying coming from inside who is it it's a girl we talked and she got frightened i was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying i was bitten i tried to convince her i wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest a couple almost got me and i ended up hiding in the ice machine lucky you now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Glenn. While Link. Oh. Oh look, it's the Breaking Bad RV. Is there a meth lab in there? Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly, noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. I saw one working on the other side of that car. Sure, I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. Just getting a little bit of the area. Get to the truck. They really want to get into that room. So much. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. I shouldn't have done that. How are you 
going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others. Their groaning attracts the others. So it's, no matter what direction I go to, it's still that. Okay. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Ah. Uh. So confused at what to do. Uh, sneak back across. I'm scared. A pill? Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. There has to be something. Ah, I don't want to try that. Get out your gun. But the noise! Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick! Spark plug. Nothing wrong with having it, I guess. It's a spark thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. We can get that guy by the wall over there. Don't make too much noise. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Look. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, thank God. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain oh. inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. You're too dumb. Right. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Right. Let's get that one over there. Or this one. Nice. Thanks 
sure. Ha. <laughs> Such an easy kill. And then there's that axe. Really shouldn't have done that, it would have been good to keep it. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. You guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell. Okay, we'll be right behind you. I'm gonna be a troll and end up in this cliffhanger. I'll see you guys next time for some more Walking Dead. Hope you enjoyed.